pamoja nasi tumsujudie tumche na tumsikie jinsi anavyofundisha katika neno lake akisema upende mwanangu wako kwa moyo wako wote na kwa roho yako yote na kwa akili zako zote na kwa nguvu zako zote na mpende jirani yako kama nafsi yako msaada wetu ni katika jina la Bwana Wapendwa katika Bwana tumekusanyika mbele ya uso wa Mungu kumtukuza kwa ajili ya neema yake na uaminifu wake kusikia neno lake takatifu na kuomba auishe roho na mili yetu kwa kuwa Mungu ni mtakatifu na sisi tu wenye dhambi hivyo basi na tumuungamie Mungu dhambi zetu katika roho ya toba na imani tukimuomba msamaha wa dhambi zetu sehemu ile ya kwanza Mungu mwenyezi
mje wanaweza kuingia sasa kama wako wako leo kumi na ngoni waingie tutakia neamani
mtakatifu Mungu ndiye peke yako Hakuna Mungu mwingine mbinguni na hata duniani anayestahili kuabudiwa na kutukuzwa Mana kwa kutuma wanao pekee Yesu Kristo duniani Ukasema kila boti litapigwa na vitu vya mbinguni na vya duniani na vya chini ya nchi na kila mlimi utakiri ya kuwa wa Yesu Kristo ni Bwana ili Mungu mtakatifu unaungana na watakatifu wote walioko duniani ambao wanapiga magoti kwako ambao wanaikiri jina lako unaungana na watakatifu walioko mbinguni ambao wanaadhimisha utukufu wako na kukuabudu Mungu wetu. Ee Bwana, watu wako wamekucha. Wameleta sadaka mikono mwao. Ninaomba usipokee sadaka. Ukazitaka bali madhabahu pako. Mahali ambapo wamelekeza nyuso zao. Mahali ambapo wamepachakua na kulikarisha jina lako. Ukajibu haja za mioyo ya watu wako watakaposokeza mioyo yao iliyobeba sadaka zao za zaka iliyobeba sadaka zao za nafiri Mungu kumbuka rehema kwa watu wako katika jina la Yesu Amen Amen Bwana Yesu asifiwe Ambulie. 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 
na tuko hapa kwa la mtano ambao utakuwa unateleka kuanzia au unaanza tarehe 9 hadi tarehe 13 mwezi wa 6 na niwaombe kama nilipo uh, kama wenzangu walivyotangulia kusema uh, kwanza nimshukuru sana uh, baba wetu kwa ajili ya kuingia sana na kusaidia katika maandalizi ya mtano zina sana sana na niwaombe wote kwa kipo kiwango chochote kinaweza kuhusika uweze kuhusika kwa kuweza kusaidia mtano ili faulu bwana asante sana mtano huu mtano wetu na umekuja kwa ajili ya tunduma haije kuja kwa sababu ya mtu mmoja au wawili imekuja kwa sababu ya tunduma nzima kwa hiyo mtano huu ni mtano wetu sema amen amen imekuja kwa sababu wengi tumeomba na tunaendelea kuomba ninaona kabisa Mungu amewapatia wachungaji na viongozi wenye maono makubwa nasikia jinsi ambavyo mchungaji amekuwa kutangaza kuhusu panuzi na kuendeleza uh, kazi ya Mungu katika eneo hili kwa kweli kabisa hayo ni maono na hiyo ni kazi ya Mungu sema amen na ndio tumekuwa tukiomba lakini sasa huduma hii inayokuja inakuja kutia nguvu kazi hii ambayo mmekuwa mkifanya atakuja kuiba ama atakuja kudhofisha atakuja kutia nguvu bwana asante sana kwa hivyo nitaomba ya baba kwa njia anamna yote utakayeweza kuhusika karibu sana na Mungu akubariki sana bwana asifiwe kwa sababu dada zangu ni chache nitaomba ya baba niingie kwa neno la Mungu mara moja na nitaingia kwa sababu ya lugha bali na ifahamu vizuri na kuweza kujieleza vizuri ni Kiingereza nitaomba tafadhali niruhusu niongee kwa Kiingereza in very few minutes i will be sharing with you the word of god akatika dakika chache zijazo nitashiriki nani neno la Mungu i'm reading from the book of psalm 78 nasoma kitabu cha zaburi sura sura 78 sura 78 and I'm reading a couple of verses there was 40 41 and 42. Nitasoma mstari kadhaa hapo kuanzia 41. As Sadila already introduced me I'm married, I have two children. Kama Mr. Sadila ni kamplisha nimeoa na nina watoto wawili. I have one girl and one boy. Msichana mmoja na mtoto mmoja. I pass a church in Kenya. Nina chunga kanisa Kenya and I glad to be here today to be participating in the work of God here in Tunduma. Lakini pia nafuraha kuko hapa kushirikiana nani katika kazi hapa Tunduma. Psalms 78. Zaburi 78. It says for sport. Kuanzia mstari wa 40. How oft did they provoke him in the wilderness and grieved him in the desert. Yeah, they turned back and tempted God and uh, limited the Holy One of Israel. For to say he remembered not his hand, uh, his hand nor the day when he delivered them from the enemy. Naanza mstari wa 40 anasema hivi, walimwasi jangwani mara ngapi na kuhuzunisha mikani. Wakarudi nyuma wakamjaribu Mungu, wakampa mpaka mtakatifu wa Israel hawakukumbuka mkono wake wala siku ile alipowakomboa na mtesi nitaupa kichwa cha habari kilichosema usisahau when we were children tulipokuwa watoto wadogo and uh, especially me when i was a young i a very young boy hasa sasa nilipokuwa mdogo sana my mama used to send me to the shop mama yangu alikuwa na kawaida ya kunituma duka and he would give me money na alikuwa anipa pesa for me to the handkerchief na aikifu zimefungwa kwenye kitambaa and you tell me na ananiambia go to the shop nenda dukani buy a quarter uh, a quarter kilogram of sugar nenda kanunue robo kilo ya sukari buy a match stick mm-hmm. buy one box of uh, of of, of, uh, of match box nenda kanunue kibeti kimoja and you say then bring me salt labda na chumvi and because of young la na kwa sababu nilikuwa mdogo and i know i knew i would forget na nilijua kwamba nitasahau i would go running go ni nilikuwa nakimbia and try to memorize what i was told huku najaribu kukalili kile ambacho ambacho nimeambiwa about the sugar ma about the kilo of sugar and kiberiti and and salt na chumvi but when i get to the shop lakini ninapokaribia dukani i would go to na sahau and i would say i got a, a box of of of, of much box afu naweza nikasema kwa robo kilo ya 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 kibeliti and then i say i mean i just get confused completely na na, na changanyikiwa kabisa 
Because of what I was saying. Because my memory was was a little memory. But you know, if you look at that and we can laugh about that and say, you know, and we can even see our children, maybe for those who are, you know, uh, have families here. Like it took you they are so quick to forget. But it is not only children. Like you see what you do, and it's not only a few people. see what you are Humans are, are quick to forget. And sometimes we forget the most important thing. We forget the most important things. And we, 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 we end up losing much because of that. The story of the, of what we read in the book of Psalms. It's a summary of the story of the children of Israel. And I want to first of all put your focus in the story of the children of Israel. When the children of Israel were in Egypt, when the children of Israel were in Egypt, they were under slavery. They cried to God because of the Egyptians and the Pharaoh. And God had their prayer. The Bible says he went to, when Moses was taking care of his father's uh, his father lost sheep in the wilderness. And God appeared to Moses. And he told Moses, I have heard the cry of my children, of my people in Egypt. Of the oppression that Pharaoh and the Egyptians have oppressed them. And he said, I want to send you. So that you may go. And deliver them. From the hand of prayer. So God had the prayer. From the children of Israel. And he sent Moses. To deliver them. From the hand of the oppressor. And take them to the land of promise. And give them the blessing. Immediately they leave Egypt. God has done a mighty, mighty, mighty signs there. And he delivered them with a might, the Bible says, with a great and outstretched arm. And he struck Egypt with a with a uh, you know with the with the uh, with a uh, great uh, uh, pestilence. And he delivered them with a great deliverance. But immediately they left Egypt. And they faced their first challenge. They came to the Red Sea. Bible says that on the bottom of their sides were mountains. And in front of them on the Red Sea. And behind them was the Pharaoh's army. And they knew this is the end of us. They knew this is the end of us. The Bible says they raised their voices against Moses. Because that had never happened. And they walked on a dry ground. 
walitembea katika nchi yao kamba walipogeuka nyuma they saw the fear that the Egyptians wakaona kwa Misri they were coming wanaao pia wanaofollow in the behind wanaofuata nyuma and they cross over na wakafanikiwa kuvuka and God swallowed all the Egypt the Egyptian army na Mungu akawameza jeshi lote la Misri in the sea katika bahari he stole their hearts kamba macho yao they saw the miracle wakaona mujiza
We are not exiled. We are not connected to give God glory for what He has done. Hali yunganisha kuhakika kumba Mungu utukufu kwa yale ambayo anatufanyia. We need to be grateful people. Tunahitaji kuwa watu welezi. People who are grateful. Tunahitaji kuwa watu wenye wenye shukurani. To always give glory to God. Kumpa Mungu utukufu. And remember that or remember all that God has done for us. Nakukumbuka yote ambayo Mungu ametufanyia. We are quick to forget. Tunakusahaulifu wa haraka. And Peter says this in the book of Second Peter chapter 1 verse 2 by verse 12. Petro anasema katika kitabu chake cha Petro wa pili sura ya kwanza mstari wa 12 in that this is speak to the church na hili analizungumza pia kwa kanisa and he says this anasema hivi i will always he says therefore i will always remind you about these things verse 12 chapter chapter 2 chapter 1 verse 12 second second peter about these things even though you already know them and are standing firm in the truth you have been taught but that it says and it is only right that i should keep on reminding you as long as i live mstari wa 12 petro wa kwanza sura petro wa pili sura ya kwanza anasema hivi mstari wa 12 kwa hiyo nitakuwa tayari kuwakumbusha hayo siku zote ijapokuwa mnayajua na kuthibitishwa katika kweli mlionayo nami naona ni haki maadamu nipo mimi katika maskani hii kuamsha kwa kuwakumbusha so peter tells the church go pit petro analiambia kanisa i will keep you reminded kwamba nitawakumbusha as far as i'm in this tabernacle maadamu nipo katika maskani hii i will always remind you nitawakumbusha daima you know you know you know you know you really know about this najua tayari nafahamu you really establish the self truth tayari me naujua ukweli but you need to be reminded lakini ninahitaji kukumbushwa the church of jesus kanisa la kristo needs to know this ninahitaji kujua hili we need to be to be reminded every time every day tunahitaji kukumbushwa kila siku na kila wakati that's why you don't need to be a sunday to sunday believer ndio maana unatakiwa kuwa mshirika wa jumapili na jumapili you need to attend the home church unahitaji kuhudhuria ibada za kanisa Na hiyo changamoto ndogo ilikuwa ni hii. 
Because of financial challenge, he required to change the whole thing. I came out from my in the church. Nilitoa pesa flani kanisani, and there was need in the home. Lakini kuikuwa na hitaji la kifedha nyumbani, and it seems like I did not care about the fact my family. I care about the church. So it came to me that I was not in nyumbani, I was not in kanisani. And you know what, Mama told me? Sasa na juu ya mbio kwenye nyumbani yangu. She told me this, and I, I, I listen. I, I know this. This is not unique to me. It's all over the place. So what I'm saying is about to be almost what is happening right here. And the idea She told me, and the idea, you don't care about us. Who do you have, sis? You only look at the church. You want to skip money outside, but don't ask. That was not true. That was not true. I just put, I just put land for them. I just put a land for us. I built a home. We have your own house. And that's because I gave a small amount in the church. It's simple. I don't care. In our Nigerian community, praise the Lord. What a silly! When we go in, we are going to see how many people are going to come. We are going to see how many people are going to come. We are going to see how many people are going to come. We are going to see how many people are going to come. We are going to see how many people are going to come. To a shida, a little shida in my life. There's been a lot of problems in the home. When I'm afraid that it's shida, kuwa, you man. You care about us. How do you have your money? 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 And if you look back and see what I've been done, like it's what I've had, my kuwa, my kuwa, my kuwa, my kuwa, my kuwa, they look at the small problem. Why not? Amen. Amen. How do you get 
for our lives. To answer to a to come for the blessing. To return back and come for victories. To to establish in the way come for the things God has done for us. To establish number one and commit our lives to the Lord. To enjoy my share to the Lord. Praise the Lord. What I'm saying is this in, in, in conclusion. Paul tells the, the, the Roman church Romans chapter 5 verse 1 He says brethren If you are God's mercy In view of God's mercy Katika nema ya mungu Tunapoita sama nema ya mungu Present your bodies as a living sacrifice which is your reasonable worship Ambayo, it is your worship it is a reasonable worship Ambayo, ni and he says this Na nasema kuamba, when you look at what God has done for you mnapo angalia kile kitu ambacho mungu wa mwafanyia is this too much to ask is this too much to ask is this too much to ask I mean, when you look at what God has done, is this it, when I ask you to present your bodies? Is that so much? Is so much? Is that so much? you look at the God has delivered you. Do not forget what the Lord has done for you. If you can't, please help me talk to your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, do not forget. 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 Amen. Let me pray. Naomi. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Baba, Jesus. 
thank you for your word. Na kushukuru kwa ajili ya neno lako. Na thank you for my uh, those who listen to this word. Na nakushukuru kwa wale ambao wamekusikia neno lako. I want to ask you by the grace of God. Nataka nikuombe kwa neema ya Mungu that you allow us to remember. Kwamba utusaidie kukumbuka that we may not forget na tusisahau the things you have done in our life. Kwamba hatutakiwi kusahau mambo ambayo Mungu ameyatenda maisha yetu. Lord sometimes we have been so forgetful. Bwana wakati mwingine tumekuwa wasaulizi sana and we have rebelled against you. Na tumekuwa tunakuja mbele zako kwa manunguni. We have complained. Tuna, we tunakulaumu. We have murmured. Tunakuwa tuna 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 tunatoa manunguni kwa mbele zako. But we pray your forgiveness on us. Bwana tunaomba tusamehe. And I pray that your Holy Spirit will help us to remember. Ninaomba Roho Mtakatifu atusaidie kukumbuka the things you've done for us. Mambo ambayo umetufanyia. This is the glory and honor of your name. utukufu kwa jina lako. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu.
Biblia inasema upendano wa ndugu na ndugu upendano wa ndugu na ndugu msisahau kwa fadhili wageni maana kwa njia hii wengine wanawakaribisha malaika pasipo kujua msisahau kwa fadhili wageni na leo tunajifunza nani anasema msi usisahau hilo matatizo yako yasikusahaulishe kupokea wageni wana kusumbua sisi tuna mizigo na sisi tuna mambo yetu usisahau kuwafadhili shida zako zisikusahaulishe kuwafadhili wageni wageni wanakuja kwetu tuwapokee vyote ulivyo nalo ni mali ya Bwana achilia moyo wako tupokee wageni natamani kuona kila mmoja anasema bila ambao anaweza kufanya kwa ajili ya wageni huu tutasoma hapa kila kitu kisomwe yeye yeah, atabeba hiki mwingine atabeba hiki mwingine atabeba hiki tatizo linaisha wanaweza sifiwe na ushirika wetu utaendelea kubarikiwa na Mungu ataendelea kufungua milango ya baraka kwa sababu ya ukarimu Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Basi naomba katibu hebu tupe picha eh utusomee hiyo budget na tunaenda hatua kwa hatua usisome vyote. <tipa>
Kwa umeo atulishi wote wa shirika huu wanaofanya kazi mbalimbali kanisani serikalini na mahali popote tuombea viongozi wa shirika wetu wachungaji wa injilisti katibu tuzazi na ushirika parishweka na watumishi wote wa ushirika wazee wa kanisa madikoni wazuru pamoja na wajumbe wa kamati mbalimbali pamoja na viongozi wote wa vitengo ndani ya ushirika wetu pamoja na watoto wetu wote walio ndani ya ushirika huu Mwape nuru yako na uongozi katika kazi zao. Tawaombea wazazi wote, wawalee watoto wao, wakuwe katika neema ya ubatizo wao, wakujue wewe Bwana. Tawaombea wote wenye shida za kiroho na za kimwili katika ushirika wetu, waliolala majumbani na wana waliolazwa hospitalini. Uwakumbuke, wajane na wagane na watoto yatima wenye huzuni na taabu pamoja na wagonjwa wote tunakushukuru kwa ajili ya wote waliofariki katika imani tujalie kufuata mfano wao ili nasi tufe kwa imani na kufikia urithi wetu wa mbinguni kwa Yesu Kristo Bwana wetu amen baba yetu ni mbinguni
Mwenge na neno la kusema na kubadilisha kwa hapo chacha. Kwani sana Mungu Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Amen. Nimesimama mbele yenu wa shirika na mbele ya Mungu. Nikimshukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya tendo kubwa lililofanyika tarehe 9. Siku nilioingizwa rasmi kazini ninamshukuru Mungu kwa yote yaliyofanyika katika siku hiyo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini kwa nafasi hii ninapenda kuwashukuru washirika wote kwa haya zote, vitengo, vijiji, mitaa yote kwa namna mlivyohusika katika tukio zima la kuingizwa kazini. Mungu awabariki sana kwa yote mliyotoa kwa ajili yangu. Sina chochote cha kuwalipa ila Mungu peke yake ndiye atakayewalipa. Mungu awabariki sana. Kipekee ninaomba maombi yenu sana. Sana sana naomba mniombe. Kwa akili zangu na ufahamu wangu siwezi lolote. Ninategemea maombi kutoka kwenu wa shirika. Ninahitaji ushauri wenu ili niweze kutenda kazi ya Mungu sawa sawa. Mungu awabariki sana. Asante. ande basi kumshukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya mtumishi wa Mungu huyu kwa mazito matatu sana sana basi hapa ndipo mwisho kwa ibada yetu lakini saa tisa tuendelee na ibada hapa na tuendelee kwa na wageni kutoka sifa au mandaji wa mkutano kwa tabudumu pia kwa ibada ya mchana na waomba Kristo wote kurudi hapo saa tisa kwa ibada itakayoendelea hapa lakini pia tunakaribisha kwenye morning glory ya sikui safu na mbili kamili mungu awabari na mbuni sana tunapotoka kani mambeli mbeli na mchangu mbeli 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 Bendera ya Mungu wa Mungu katika baada ya pili. Asante sana kwa bariki na shukrani kwa Mungu wetu. Asante sana. Iliopumuaka tunduma Barabara ya Sumbawanga Inawakaribisha wateja wake wote Wafiombo vya moto Kupata nishati safi ya mafuta Yenye viongo bora Na ujazo sahihi Kwa matumizi ya chombo chako Pia tunapenda kwa famisha Taasisi na makampunye Tunatua punguzo kabambe kwao Kwa maelezo zaidi Tupigia sim namba 0748034 Narubia 0748034 Arobaini, thirathinane, kuminatatu, mabena firing session, tunajari chombo chako, nyote, mnakaribishwa, mnakaribishwa.